Hey guys, Raza from Flies and Five here. Uh, this is going to be the official first YouTube video that we'll be posting in our channel. Uh, it's going to be a tutorial on how to tie a spearing uh, sand eel pattern fly. It's going to be a slim profile. Uh, in this case, it's going to be an olive back with a white belly. We're going to add a little bit of crystal flash as well. Uh, I'm going to add the materials that I'm using down below in the description, but as I go and uh, incorporate new materials I will mention them so it'll be easier to follow along uh, the hook that we're going to be using is a Mustad 34007 stainless steel hook uh, size 1.0 um, and I'm going to be using uh, a monofilament to tie this uh, fly as opposed to a flat wax nylon um, you could use a flat wax nylon if you prefer uh, if you do go with the monofilament just uh, to uh, make your life a lot easier make sure your bobbin has a ceramic tip It'll, uh, it'll save you a lot of trouble. Uh, the non-ceramic tips usually uh, end up cutting the monofilament and uh, you'll have to start your fly all over again and no one likes that. So uh, to get started, I'm gonna grab some white bucktail. All right, to get started, uh, I'm gonna put in the white belly first. So I took some uh, white bucktail hair. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do now to prepare it is uh, I'll grab, I'll pinch about a third of the way in from the end of the bucktail hair. Okay, and I'm gonna pull out any short ends, uh, short hairs that happen to be loose. Okay, this will ensure that all the hairs are a minimum of this length or more. Okay, let's turn the hook upside down. Now I'm going to first um, put a few loose wraps around the hair and now what this will allow me to do is see how the hair stays on the hook and uh, it'll allow me to adjust it accordingly to make it look good. And once I got it to how I want it. That's when I'll, I'll pinch the hairs down on the on the shank of the hook, and then I'll finish it off with a few tighter wraps. These hairs are pretty much uh, set in their ways now. Okay. Uh, next would be to add an olive back. All right, so we have our olive hair now, uh, bucktail hair, and we're pretty much going to do the same exact thing how we uh, on what we did with the white bucktail hair. We're going to remove any short hairs. Just going to make sure all the ends are even. And now we're going to attach it to the hook with a few loose wraps. Just like how we did before. And we're going to make sure it all looks good. And if it's the way you like it, then you can go ahead and finish it off. All right, that's pretty much it for the bucktail. Uh, the next step would be to add um, some crystal flash. So here we have a few strands of uh, a white crystal flash. I'm gonna add this to the belly of the uh, of the fly. Uh, I'm pretty much gonna add it to the side as opposed to directly underneath it, um, so it can show during its when you're presenting it on its side profile. So I'll tie half of it on one side, and then I'll tie the other half on the other. Like so. And a little bit of crystal flash goes a long way. You don't need to really put too much of it on. Okay, so now uh, the next step will be to add a little bit of crystal flash on the black on the back of the uh, of the fly. All right, so I got some rainbow flash, uh, crystal flash. Uh, it's pretty much got every color you could think of in the spectrum, hence the name rainbow. Uh, and now I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the white flash, but I'm gonna add it to the olive back. Okay. 
Okay, so that side's good. And that side's good. All right, so we're pretty much done adding um, crystal flash and, and bucktail hair. So we can go ahead and whip finish this fly. Uh, I'll use a whip finisher. You can do it by hand if you want, but just for the sake of ease, I'll, I'll use the whip finisher. Okay. And now once that's done, you can add a few dabs of uh, crazy glue to ensure that it won't come undone. So the last thing you need is after you're done tying a fly for it to come undone. All right, and to finish it off, we're gonna go with uh, a couple of stick-on eyes. Um, let me see what I got here. Here are the eyes we're gonna be using. Uh, it's just a, a holographic stick-on eye. Uh, I'm gonna use my bodkin to, to add these on with a little bit of crazy glue. I'm gonna prepare that now, and uh, I'll be right back to show you. All right, so I have uh, one of the stick-on eyes right here with a little bit of crazy glue on, on the uh, back side of it. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this to the fly. Now you can pretty much eyeball it on where you want, where it should sit. And then once you got it to where you want it, you press on it and you remove the bodkin. And the eye should sit there. Uh, the crazy glue is pretty important. If you do not add the crazy glue, uh, a regular stick-on eye will probably last all of two or three casts and uh, and then it will end up falling off. Um, so, you know, for the sake of the looks of the fly, I would add a little bit of crazy glue. Uh, and you would basically just do the same thing with the other end and you're pretty much done. You have a sand eel or spearing pattern. Um, you know, I primarily use this for fly fishing, but when I am bucktailing for fluke, um, you know, I will throw this on as a teaser, uh, or even going for stripers, I'll add this on as a teaser if there's a lot of uh, sand eels and spearing in the water, uh, and it works very, very efficiently. All right, guys, I hope you like it. If you have any questions or comments, just post them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.